Evelyn. Evelyn, come here. You're still not making the cutoff. I want that to be one of the things you work on before the next season, okay? Okay. And vote for Record Journal Athletes of the Week. Tuning in, I am Brian Carpenter, sports editor of the American Record Journal, and welcome to the final edition of Record Journal Athletes of the Week. Final because we have no new slate of candidates. We've been too busy, baby. Too busy. What a Memorial Day weekend we just had, Aaron. Oh my God. We had Jordan Davis win the NCAA Division II Championship in the Javelin. PJ Higgins from Wallingford up with the Cubs, baby, hit his first major league home run yesterday. And our condolences, deepest condolences and sympathies the Southington baseball community, actually all of the Southington community because Charlie Lembo certainly was more than a baseball coach. Um, good man Charlie Lembo was. He's been battling cancer for the past year and um, he's a good man and he has gone far, far too soon at the age of 62, 62 years old. Charlie Lembo, may he rest in peace and may his team perform well because you know they're going to be playing for him today. We're filming on Tuesday. The CIAC Spring Tournament start today. It's going to be a busy two weeks. But before we head off, I want to bring you our final winners and, and our final contest. You saw him at the head of the show, Sam Sullivan from Southington Softball and Mr. Bobby Herzman from Wilcox Tech. Kind of neat there. Kind of one coming and one going. Sam Sullivan, she is a senior pitcher, left fielder, hitter, extraordinary. She and the Lady Knights, good bet to defend or at least be in contention to defend their Class LL State Championship. And Wilcox Tech Baseball, hey, they play Stratford today at home. And Dave Cronin and the boys just want you to know, I'm hoping, really, really hoping, obviously, that you guys win today. So we have a Maloney and Wilcox Tech game for tomorrow. First, Ricky Murrow and his Spartans have to beat Bristol Eastern. There's so many scenarios, too many to count. It's going to be a busy couple of days. And then hopefully we got a couple teams playing in the championships next week. I would love to see every team and that we cover make it all the way down the line. That's not going to happen. Aaron, you know who my bets are? I'm not going to tell you. Other than that, we got some good track coming on Wednesday with Maloney and Cheshire. And then, of course, the Sheehan girls going for a state title on Thursday in Class M. Hey, other than that, listen, folks, stay tuned. Go online, myrecordjournal.com, each and every day. Heck, by, by nightfall, as soon as we get the stuff in, it's going to be up online. And, of course, our daily print edition that you can keep tucked away forever in a day. 20, 30, 40 years from now, when you get old like me, you'll be able to pull it out and say, back in the day, this is what I did. You can show your grandkids. For now, I am going to take my leave of you. I'm actually going to hop on my bike, folks. While you guys get ready to play your state tournament games, I wish you well. I'm going to just ramble on. Be good.